our book, chapter 10, lesson 6, page 568. Our first part here to identify the number of faces, edges, and vertex on each three dimension. Let's check our first question here. Our first question here, we need to count how many faces, how many edges, and how many vertex. What is face? We have this one, it's a face, this one down, you can see. This one here, this is face, face number one. We have here face number two, three, and four outside from here, and five. Okay, so we have five faces. Then, how many edges? We said the edges is this line. So we have one, two, three, four, and then the base we have one, two, three, four. Four and four is eight. So we have I have four sides in the base. From each vertex of the base, we have one edge going out. Okay? So we have eight edges. How many vertex? Let's count the vertex. We have one, two, three, four, and five vertex. Let's check question two. In question two here, we have how many faces, how many edges, and how many vertex. Let's see the base. How many Let's see the base. The base here we have base 1 and base 2. One down, one up. So now we have two. Then we have how many sides? Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five. Five plus two is seven. So we have seven faces. Then how many edges? Can you check the base here? How many sides in the base in the base? One two, three, four, five. So we have five sides. We have five sides. So we have five up and five down. Okay, we have five up and five down because they are same, uh, same base. So we have five up and five down. Let's check the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Another five. So we have five up and five down and five in the side. So it's 15 edges. How about vertex? We have in the in the base up we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five vertex up. One, two, three, four, five. And we have five vertex down. So five and five there are ten vertex. In question three here we have down one base down. So how many faces? We have face down. This face down, we have it here. Can you see it? Okay. From each side of that face, we have one face going up. So we have one, two, three, four. We have one face down and four in the side. So it's five faces. And how many edges? We said the edge is the line between the vertex. Down. We have how many edges down? We have one, three, Okay, four. We have four down. Then how many up? We have one, two, three, four. Four and four is eight. We have eight edges. Four down and four in the sides. How many vertex? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five vertex. Okay, this clear? You can understand? Great. Let's check question four. We want to name each three dimension figure here. We want to name each three dimension figure. We want to name it. Here, this one. How many sides here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides six sides so it's hexagon okay so in present 
what we call it in Brazil, in Brazil, so hexagonal prism. Here we have only one base. Can you see? I will make the color red for you. We have only one base here. Can you see the base? Okay. If we have only one base, so it's pyramid. Okay. And this base is polygon. So it's a pyramid. So this base is what? What is the shape? What is the name of the base? The base here is polygon. What is the name of the base here? The base here is a square. So we call it square pyramid. Next one. So, of course, it's a cube, and it's clear that it's a cube. Okay, let's go for question 7. Question 7 here. Okay, we have two parallel bays. Okay, the shape of it is triangle. So, we have here one triangle. And we have here one. Another triangle, two congruent and parallel bases or faces, so we call it prism. Name of prism, it's according to the base. What is the name of the base? The base is triangle, so we call this shape is triangular prism. Let's count how many faces, how many vertex, how many edge inside. First, how many bases? We have two bases, we have two. Each base is three sides. From each side, we have one face. So we have this one and this one. Now it's two. Then with blue, I will make for you the other faces. One face here and one face here and one in the back. Okay, so we have three faces and two bases. So it's five faces. Let's count the edge. How many edges we have? We have each one base is three edge. One, two, three. The other one, one, two, three. Okay. So the, uh, in the one in the sides, we have one, two, and three. Three plus three plus three is nine edges. How many vertex? Let's count the vertex. We have one vertex here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six vertex. Let's go to question eight. Okay. First, I want to name the, the shape and then we will count how many faces, how many edges, and how many vertex inside. What is the name of this shape? We have two parallel bases and congruent, right? So it's a prism. What is the name of this prism? The name of the prism is according to how many sides we have. Okay? So here, let's count how many sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight sides. So eight sides mean... So here is the base is eight sides. What is the name of the polygon that has eight sides? We call it octa. So here it will be octagon down. Okay. So how we will call the prism? We will call it octagonal prism. Okay. Let's count how many faces we have face up and face down. Two faces now. Then we have one face coming from here. And another one coming from here. Now two. And then three. Okay. In the other sides we have another three. One, two, three. Then you, you can see this one and this one. It's, on, it's also two other faces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight faces in the side. And one base up, one base down. So it's ten faces. Let's count the edges. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight edges up, eight edges down. So now we have 16. 
Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this one 7, this one is 8. So we have another 8. 16 plus 8 will be 24 edges. How many vertex we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 vertex up, 8 vertex down, so 16 vertex. Let's check question 9. Question 9 here, what is the name of this shape? What is the name of the base down if the base down is triangle so it's we will call it triangular prism okay if the base down is a square so we call it cube let's count how many faces and how many edges how many vertex we have one face up one face down and then we have one two three four faces in the sides so we have now six faces how many edges we have four edges up, one, two, three, four, and four edges down, one, two, three, four. And in the sides, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four up and four down, eight, four in the sides. So we have 12 edges. Now the vertex. We have one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight we have eight vertex let's go for question 10 question 10 we will name the three dimension figure okay and we have to and we i want to know if it's a polyhedron or not a polyhedron here we have two bases two bases two parallel and congruent bases so it's a what it's a what we have to know what is the shape of the face the shape of the base here is circle so if it's the two parallel faces are circle so we call it cylinder is it a, poly, a polyhedron or not it's not because it has curved side let's go question 11 the base here is rectangle the base is rectangle and all the sides are flat flat surface so it's polyhedron and what is the name of that polyhedron is rectangular present because the base here is rectangle if I have two parallel and congruent bases so it's it's a present and what is the name of the base the name of the base is rectangle so we call it rectangular present question 12 we have only one base, only one base. The one base here is circle, so we call it cone. Is the circle polyhedron? No, it's not. So circle is not a polyhedron. So this face, this shape, it's not a polyhedron, but it's a cone because because it has only one base. If it's a two circle bases, so it's a slender one circle base it's a cone two circle bases it's slender one circle base it's a cone okay this clear can you hear in question 13 14 15 can we name each figure until if it's a polyhedron or not question 13 here we have the base is square okay and how many Bases we have, we have only one base and all other faces are met in one point up. Okay, we have only one base here and all other faces are met in one point up and the other faces are triangle. So this is pyramid. What is the name of the pyramid? The name of the pyramid, it's according to the base. What is the name of the base here? A square. So we call it square pyramid. Is this a polyhedron or not? Yes, it is. Why? Because we don't have any curved side or circle side. And it's of course a close. Let's go question 14. We have two parallel sides 
and congruent. We have two parallel and congruent sides, so it's a prism. Prism? What is the name of the base? The base is, is circle. So if the base is circle, so this figure is slender. Poly, it's a polyhedron or not? Of course it's not a polyhedron because it has curved sides and it has circle base. Question 15. Question 15 here we have only one base. We have only one base. If I have one base, so it is cool or permit. How we how will I know? I will check what is the what is the name of the base. The base here is circle. So is the, if the base is circle, we call it cone. It's a polyhedron. No, because it has curved sides. Okay. Let's solve question sixteen. Write the letter of all the figures that match its each description. Sixteen. 16 prism we need to find a prism here from these shapes which one is a prism we said a prism should be a prism should have two parallel sides a prism should have two parallel sides we have here a and d because here can you see we have here this is one base and we have one base there they are parallel and congruent okay we have here one base here can you see it and another one in the back these two bases are triangles these two bases are rectangle okay 17 i want figures that has i want figure that has triangular faces which one has triangle faces c and b and d excellent Question 18 has six faces. Let's count the faces. One, two, three. Let's count the faces. We have one up, one down, two, three, four, five, and six in the front. So we have six faces here in A. Okay, this clear for now. At the end, your homework will be page 568 from question 7 to question 12. See you on Zoom session to solve our book.